now that we have taken our log, um, what we can do is go back and review the log with ECU Tools. So again, I'm going to open up ECU Tools, go to the Data Logging tab, and as you can see right here, Playback from Log File, we want to check this, and we click this button to find the log that we want to review. In this case, I have a sample log that I'm going to look at. Um, what you would do, what you'd find in your ECU Tools log folder um, is a file by the name of your profile and the current date. Um, so what I like to do is just sort by date modified uh, in this folder and it'll bring the newest one up to the top. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to look at this sample log. Um, it's a log that I had previously taken from my car and then we're just going to use this for an example. So I have playback from log file selected and uh, I've got my log, my log file chosen right here. I'm going to click review log and that will bring open the log viewer window. So as you can see I already have a couple of variables plotted. You can tell that they're plotted. Um, the, the label over here gets bolded and uh, it is then the color of the, the uh, line that you selected. So um, right now, as you can see, I've got playback speed normal. I can press control plus. Again, control minus will slow it down. Control P to pause. Uh, I've found uh, a wide open throttle run right here. Now, uh, just looking at the at the graph, you can't see a whole lot. You know, you're, you're zoomed out pretty far, so I can click and drag in a certain section to zoom into uh, any particular section of the log. I can zoom in again. If I press escape, it will zoom out. And I can keep on zooming in if I really want to. Escape, escape, and one more time, I'm all the way out. But I'm going to narrow in on this part of the log. So um, as you can see here, I've got a few things plotted. Um, I've got my map set point um, plotted and uh, minimum and maximum. So that sets the, the range of that variable in the graph where 1000 is at the bottom and 2500 is up at the top. Uh, I can choose to change this but another thing is I have that same range set for measured so that they align. Um, I can click the show axis and it's going to take that uh, variable and show an axis on the left hand side with your minimum and maximum. Um, I can unclick that and I'll take it away. Also I can inactivate it and then it removes the line. So you'll have to go through and plot these uh, all for the first time. Um, so I'll take an example here. Um, I want to look at my ignition angle. Um, so in this case, here's the mean value. I'm going to plot that. So um, typical range of that might be, say, negative 20 to 30 degrees, right around there. Anyway, that's what I would care about. Uh, pick a color that you want to plot it. Um, I usually like green for ignition. I don't know why. That's just what I chose. And say OK. Now I have my ignition angle plotted on the axis. Here I'll show the axis. I, I meant the graph. but um, So now I can see my ignition angle and I have uh, numbers on the side here indicating so I can tell what the um, value is. At any point in time, I can put my cursor over any part of the log, and you'll see on the left-hand side um, the values changing. And I'm going to zoom in one more time, and I can get these values, uh, the highs and the lows, set on the graph. But uh, I can also hover over, and it'll show me what the value was at that point. Um, so it's just a matter of you know, plotting all the variables that you want to see 
and as with everything, uh, this, these, uh, the, the variables that you plot are also stored behind the profile, so all these changes that you make uh, will be saved, and you will, um, you know, next time you come and review a log or uh, when you're out there live data logging, you'll also see these same values, th these variables plotted on the, the graph in the same way. Um, I hope that all makes sense. Um, trying to think of anything else that is of value here. Uh, once again, escape to zoom out. Um, I paused it. I can unpause it and continue to play through the rest of the run. Uh, control plus plus will continue to run through it and then it gets to the end. Um, so another good thing about the viewer here, um, other viewers uh, that are out there typically just focus on the wide open portion throttle of the run, whereas we can look at, um, you know, we, we can run through the entire run and, you know, see the trends over the entire run instead of just looking at the wide open throttle portion. Um, we can view the whole thing. Um, so to get out of the window, just close and you can always review it again 